Hey everybody, thanks for coming back, watching another episode. As you just heard, I got a nice sounding car in the shop. And while that's music to someone's ears, mine included, we're going with music in a different way. We have some ARC audio speakers going in a 1990 Ford Mustang Fox body. Stick around, we'll take you through this. Hey everybody, thanks for sticking around. Today, like I said, we got a 1990 Ford Mustang notchback Fox body in for a little bit of an audio upgrade. So what we have, we're doing the Arc Audio X2 5.7 inch coax and the Arc Audio X2 5 and a quarter inch component speakers in the front. So we're going to get started on these, see what kind of work's been done in the past with the, the speakers currently installed, and uh, see if you can't get this thing sounding inside as nice as it does on the outside. So stick around, or let's get started. Alright everybody, as you can see, we're in the back of the car. I've got the back seat taken off, or taken out. So now, we're going to uh, get the rear deck off. Using a panel tool, you just pop those the seat belt cover pieces out. Uh, there's just a little couple little push tabs, they lock in there. Then you got your little tree plugs here, put them in a spot that you know you're not going to lose them. Then we have to pop off our third brake light, and again, you have two little caps that go over the Phillips head screws on the side. Be right back with the screwdriver. And there's a screw on each side. Which then allows you to pop out your third brake light. Just out your two bulbs. And there's your third brake light out. Again, put all the hardware somewhere that you know it's not going to get lost or or anything and now we've got to deal with the rest of our seat belt covers the, the reels there be right back all right so as you can see let's get some light a little better light I've got the seat belt reels taken out they were an 18 millimeter bolt and they just come out so now this whole rear dash is ready to come out of here. So you carefully work it around a little bit. Making sure not to kink it, bend it too much. And just like that it comes out showing you the rear shelf. Now knowing these are bolted from the bottom, I know someone's out there asking, do I really have to do this? Do I really have to take these deck out to uh, put new speakers in? My, I'm going to say yes on that, because when you unbolt the speakers from underneath, which we'll show you in a minute, you don't see where the speaker itself is being mounted to. You don't know if it's 
sitting flush where it needs to or if half the surround is pushing on the metal deck which is going to create noise rattles problems this way when you put the speaker in you can see that it's lined up where it needs to be you can do what you need to and if it has to be adjusted you can make you can move it so it's going to be sitting where it needs to and it'll help prevent any problems during the installation that you'll find when you go to power them up so yes i could get away with just unbolting and putting in but this way at least i know it can be done right the first time and not have to worry about it so we're going to jump into the trunk unbolt some speakers and uh, go from there all right so i'm getting ready to take the rear speakers out and i kind of noticed a little bit of wiring issues so let me share them with you now, as you can see all they did is they just wrap that wire around there so that'll be real quick and easy and that one it's just barely hanging on there so that's we'll have to definitely get that taken care of fixed up corrected this side same idea just kind of twisted on there so that's going to just rattle around loose the other side had a push terminal and I'm not sure what that plastic tape is all about there but however we are gonna make it right clean it up and this will show you what we start with and where we end up so I'm gonna go pull some speakers and we'll see what happens at that point stick around all right so here we are we have one of the speakers out and it's not a bad speaker. It's one of the JBL GT7-86 speakers. Rated at 60 watts RMS, 180 watts max. It is a, a two-way coaxial speaker. You have your separate tweeter from your cone. Same with Arc Audio. Coax, you got your separate tweeter, cone. They're the 5 x 2572s and uh, a little bit better build they're a little bit shallower you can see how that one there is this one's a little bit shallower of a design the magnets are a little bit bigger for a little bit better power handling you can see a little difference in size there and like i said it's the x2572s so they should they're definitely going to improve on the sound. The factory bolts for this car, they have little tabs that go up, lock up on the rear shelf, and then you twist it. So you keep this little metal tab here, because that's what's going to keep everything in place while you tighten it down. And I ended up using a 9mm to get these nuts off. So I'm going to get some wiring done, see if we can't make the wiring look a little better than it did a minute ago and uh, see how they sound so stick around and uh, let's get wiring all right so here we are i have the speakers rewired ready to go in as you can see on this one here we now have a quick connect so that's going to tuck up there and that quick connect has a matching end on right there so now when we put the speaker in if we ever have to take it out, we can unplug it and don't have to cut wires or anything like that. So serviceability is very easy. Now earlier, I mentioned about the rear deck taking it out so you can see how the speaker fits. I did a test run on putting one of these speakers in and I noticed along the very outer edge of the longest portion, this spot here, on both sides of the speaker, there was a little bit like about an eighth of an inch gap between the edge of the speaker and the opening of the hole. So I've gone and I've got a strip of foam right around the edge. That's gonna help seal up that hole, the edging, and prevent any rattles from plastic on metal. But that is, that's why I checked, took the rear shelf off to check it, to see if it was actually gonna, how the speaker was gonna fit because that little tiny bit could affect the sound output 
and performance of speaker that uh, we're installing. And with the exhaust on this thing, we need every ounce of sound to get inside the car to make it sound as good as possible and try and keep up with the exhaust. So I'm gonna mount the speaker back in there, plug it in and see how it sounds. So stick around, here we go. All right, so here we are done with the rear speakers. We've got the old JBLs out and have the new ARC audios in. Now, if you remember the wiring I showed you a little while ago, we uh, definitely clean that up. You can see I've got the connector right there. No more wires hanging anywhere. It's nothing twisted. Now, it's a matter of get to the front speakers, but also show you what we have on the inside. As you can see, they fit in there nice. No gaps around the edges. So that means we're ready to go to the front speakers. So stick around. We're going to take some door panels off and uh, change out those. All right. So before we go to the front, got to make sure everything's wired up right. So we have our polarity tester. Got my popping noise being made. So you can see we're flashing green, which is good. Come to this side. It's flashing green as well. So that tells me those speakers are wired the same. They're in polarity with each other. So now all we've got to do is get the fronts done and be able to do that to them. Meanwhile, I'm going to go cool off for a second because we're under an extreme heat wave right now. And uh, be right back. We'll get started on the front doors. All right, so here we are getting working on the driver's door. Uh, I've already changed the speaker. I'm going to show you how to take everything apart on the passenger side. Uh, right now, we're getting ready to start working on the front dash speaker. This wonderful looking, beautiful thing that's should never be back in a car again, but hey, it's not going back in. So we're going to make a mount to put the tweeter for these components up in the dash and uh, really, really set the sound off so it sounds great instead of this. I don't even know what to do with it after. Game of hockey, throw it around. Anyway, we'll figure that out after. I'm going to head over to the bench, get some plastic, start doing some mapping, tracing, get some cutting done, see if we can't make them out for, uh, for our tweeters. Stick around, we'll be right back. Alright, so here we are. As you can see, I've got a piece of plastic here. I've got an outline of the factory speaker. And if I were to take that, fits right there like that. So that way I can use that as a template. Then we have way over here somewhere, right here, we have a tweeter. I'm going to drill and put a hole right through the middle and mount the tweeter up there. And that way it's going to sit right there, nice loud, keeping the clarity up there and see if you can't make this car sound as good as the exhaust. It's already sounded a lot better. There's a lot more bass on the rear end of it, the rear speakers, the front driver's door. That's sounding better now too. All that was in there was uh, some Pioneer six and a half from who knows when. Back, uh, let's see, they had a TS G1620F, a 40 watt. RMS six and a half inch coax. It worked. It served its purpose in the day. It no longer is needed. So we're going to put these arc audios in. So enough of me talking. I'm going to go start cutting some plastic and I'll show you what we get. All right. So you saw me with the plastic. You saw the, the factory speaker that I took out. Now I'm going to show you the tweeter. We got the bracket already made, mounted in there. Got the wire already run down through to the bottom. So now we just have to hook up our two-way crossover to protect the mid-base driver and the tweeter. Keep the signals going to where they need to. And then once that's done, 
we can put the cover back on over the speaker just like that and nobody will know the difference except when you're sitting there listening to it it's going to just scream at you and sound incredible so i want to hear it so i'm going to shut up i'm going to get back to work and uh, show you what we have all right so here we are getting started on the passenger door however good for me bad for showing you how things are done but the panel all the back all the pegs were broke off of it so it was only held in with one screw that goes through the bottom so when i took it out the whole panel came off and i don't have to take the door panel apart makes my life easy but in showing you guys how to do this it's not quite the same so to take the door panel off you have one screw up here you have one phillips head screw here you lift off this uh, cover over the window crank and you'll find a 20 millimeter Torx bit right in behind here that comes out this comes off you've got a Phillips head screw right here behind these two covers you have a 10 millimeter bolt and then you can just unthread the lock and carefully pull apart the door panel and take it off of the, the door itself now when I say carefully, be careful. This one here is like a 34 year old vehicle. So, and there's one screw hole right there in the back. That has, in this case, no screw, but there'd probably be a Phillips head screw in there as well. So, again, take the door panel off very careful. It's probably brittle, could crack, bend, who knows and you don't want to damage your vehicle or a customer's vehicle if that's what you're doing and again though we have these wonderful high quality 40 watt rms pioneer six and a half that i'm sure back in the day they were the greatest thing that this car could have especially compared to uh those however we're not 1990s anymore so let's continue making this thing sound better so i'm going to pop out the the factory dash speakers get the tweeters put in there and uh finish getting this wired up so stick around i'll show you how we do it all right so there we have it. our arc audio five and a quarter inch mid bass driver it's all mounted as usual i got some foam around the edge to keep it from potentially rattling and uh, making weird noises fits in there nice and solid it's all secured so now we're going to put this cover back on just like that put the screw back in make sure it doesn't move it stays there and uh, move on to the dash get that out of there get your tweeter in hook up the crossover and then we're on to running a new alternator wire for this thing customer had a up alternator upgrade kit so he wants us to run the wire for it and we're going to so we'll be right back so here we are getting ready to take out this factory high quality speaker and again it's just a matter of two phillips head screws kind of a tight fit but nothing too drastic Let's see if this one's... The other one was hooked up. Neither of these are working. So whoever replaced the factory radio didn't hook these to the factory wiring, so... It's a good thing for us because of the fact we're going to be running the components. But bad for the customer because they weren't able to enjoy the actual sound. So, here's a nice, wonderful, high quality paper cone wannabe speaker. And now we're gonna go get the tweeter, get it mounted up in that piece of plastic to cover this, get it wired up and finish off this stereo and get it back to the customer. So, here we go. All right. If you're still here thanks for sticking around thanks to everybody that's hit that subscribe button 
I see I'm at 123 subscribers. Gained a couple over the last few days, which is great. So, if you're watching this, you're not subscribed, go join whatever else is doing. And uh, hit that subscribe button. Hit like, drop a comment. Uh, let me know what you think of the car. Let me know what you think of the install. Now, it's not my car. It's a customer's, but uh, I'm sure if he's reading, he'd probably love to hear some of the comments how nice it sounds or how nice it is I know the blue is nice but anyway let's get back to the audio so as you remember I changed out the rear speakers with Arc Audio X2 6x9s then we went and uh, we changed out the door speakers again with the Arc Audio X2 5 and a quarters components and then we have tucked in there a tweeter the same as on both sides we've already gone over it with our uh, polarity tester everything's in polarity with each other oh it's all green so we're good to go it sounds amazing nice clear crisp sound i can't let you hear it because uh youtube's copyright policies but hey Take my word for it, it sounds a lot better than it did. Uh, now we just have one more thing we're going to do to this car. And uh, it's not audio related for this job, but it is electrical related and could be audio if we had a bigger stereo to it. But uh, an alternator wiring kit. Get rid of, he's got a nice fancy alternator but really horrible little tiny wire there so we're gonna put this in place of it comes with uh, a fuse it's designed to bolt to the battery put the fuse here on the firewall come across and hook up to the alternator and it gets the wire the wiring out of down underneath the motor up and around and everything else so we're going to get started on that, but first, we got to take that uh, radiator cover off. So let's get to it. Hope you liked that video. It was a 1990 Ford Mustang. Good, nice old Fox body. Notch back. Changed out the speakers. Things sounded real great. Customer was real happy. Uh, we also added that alternator power wire going there too. So that helps get a lot more power going into the coming out the alternator, going to the vehicle system. Makes the thing run better. So with that. Like I said, hope you enjoyed it. If you do like it, click like, hit subscribe, drop a comment, let me know what you think. Uh, hopefully I'll have some more good videos like that coming up for you. And uh, stick around, because I have a few powder coating ones coming up. Got a, a nice set of rims I'm doing. And uh, I'm going to see if I can't have another set that's going to be real a real custom set. So... Hit that subscribe button, let me know what you think, drop a comment, and in the meantime, keep it loud, stay warm.